You got one on. We got action. Congratulations on your first one. <laughs> Hold that sucker up. Look at that beauty. It's a little nice one. Cool. We ate it right when we got back, didn't we? Yeah. And ate like kings and queens. That was the day when uh, the winds changed. That was when everything got nasty. Time to dress, he says. We tried to go out that day and it was like, what is going on? Super rough, and the water was murky green. It was freezing. Got some pre diving birds. Bunch of hammerheads. It was cold. I mean. Nothing like we thought it was gonna be. It was bone chilling cold. And the deeper you went, the colder it got. Would have been fine if we were in a five mil or even a seven, but all we had was a three mil. Woo! Cold down there and I like, always look forward to the kick back up just to like, Get some blood flowing. And so we had to grin and bear it. It's just cold. The deeper I get, the colder it gets. And I'm like, mm. let's, do, uh, let's just do one more. Again. Yeah. Should have had a fish there, but there was no big fish to be found. I don't think there's any fish here. No. <laughs> it's murked out down there. That's crazy in one day. Oh, that was not a good situation. Woo! Tough diving there, huh? Oh, yeah. It's the toughest diving I've done in a while. Wait, so is this the same place we went yesterday, or no? Or is yeah. this? 
so. Zach same spot. There were no Wahoo that day. They all disappeared. <laughs> Last spot of 2020. I mean, look at all these birds they were. So I decided I was gonna shoot a small fish to let it flail around on the line, so hopefully it would bring in a wahoo for the girls. It didn't bring a wahoo, but it turned out to be a very delicious fish. A wachiya noggin. We got skunk today. No, we didn't get skunk today because I got a tiny little fish. Tiny, almost enough to feed four. Yeah, I call it a watch your noggin. A wash your noggin. A watch your what? A watch your noggin. <laughs> Bobby, what did you say that fish was called? Uh, it's a washinango. Washinango. My first washinango. You don't know what that is? How does it taste? Mmm, <laughs> I, I tried it. It's really, really good. It's actually a really delicious fish. It's Very our authentic nice. Mexican tacos. All by Judah. <laughs> and Christine. It was New Year's Eve, we went on that yacht. It's a nice boat, got to see John. John was there, he was working on that boat. To less social distancing. Aaron got a little wild that night. Our camera person, Aaron, <laughs> was shaking the bootay. <laughs> You knew how to twerk like that, Aaron. That's totally English. Everybody's like, where's Aaron? She's downstairs dancing with some girl. Like a couple days there, it was just miserable. It was freezing, it was super murky and cold. Any water in the water, and it was like super deep, super cold, super murky. 
It was pretty grueling. This is not paradise. We got five minutes to spare. You're like, like you like, okay, yesterday we didn't make out the door at 6.30, so today we're going to make it six. <laughs> <laughs> six is usually when I leave here. It's my normal time. Oh. So all these winds have been pushing all this wind and wa the, the waves down here and all this murky water this way. And we're right here, but there's no wind right here. Wind blowing kind of like this, wrapping around. So we're going to hunt in here. Yeah, so right here, should be clear of water. We've been going this way, where all that wind and waves, and the more we go, remember the farther we go, like the, the, windier. the, the windier and the more wavy it's been. So if we go this way, it should be clearer of water and calmer, and this is where the wahoo should be. So we're going to the right? Mm -hmm. We're going opposite that we've been going before. We decided to go south into uncharted territory. An area where we didn't know if there would be fish, but we had a hunch that there would be clear water, which meant there should be fish. Wahoo love clear water. Bobby, when you get a chance, if you can throw me throw flasher when you find one. There's a, there was a wahoo swimming on the surface somewhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was kind of far away. It might have been a wahoo at work. Christine drops down and lines up on a massive wahoo. This would have been her first wahoo ever. She lines up. Oh no, don't shoot yet. Oh, takes the shot and misses. Not close enough yet. Christine, still could have been a little closer, but you, you almost had it. That's awesome. It takes a little time to know just how close you need to be to that wahoo before you pull the trigger. I thought you might have already saw that wahoo when you were diving down to line up on it. I was like, oh, she playing dumb real well. That's the way you want to do it. Just like, oh, I'm just making a dive. And he was getting closer and closer. I was like, oh, shit. I was like looking. Yeah, I was like, dive down. No, you taught me. No, that was great. I was like, oh, yeah. That was perfect. You can hit me in the head twice as hard if there's a big water. There we are drifting along looking for some wahoo and a couple of mahi swim up. Now, these weren't anything huge, but, you know, they were eating size and, uh, Hey, we needed some target practice. And you know, it was the end of the day. We were drifting, hadn't seen a wahoo yet. I figured I'd shoot a mahi and let it flop around. Maybe a wahoo would come in on it. And if not, we'd at least have something for uh, fish tacos. And it was delicious. Little mahi tacos. Oh, this will feed us all. <laughs> this was nothing like we thought it was going to be. Nothing like the first day. And this was day after day of just cold, miserable weather. But we were holding out. We were holding out for that weather to turn back good again. And we weren't giving up. 
and I was surprised how dedicated the girls were. All of us. We knew better days were around the corner. We just had to wait and get there. And we knew that weather could change just as it changed the day before when it turned sour. I was miserable too. Yeah. And I think too, the first day I was distracted by the coldness because of all the water. Well, when it was warmer, it was warmer water. Yeah. They liked that warmer water. Uh -huh. And the cold water pushed in with all the, all the little uh, you know, phytoplankton, they love that cold water. And all the whales are chasing that. That's a whole different water system that moved in. Yeah. So it's definitely warmer the first day. I think what when happens? we find them, when we find them, because there's so much dirty water everywhere, yeah. there's going to be even more of them because they're all going to be congregating around this whole area. It could be spectacular. And like I said, the sweet is never sweet without the sour.